One way of finding a booking agent in the music business is a thing called Google. By searching out booking agents is one way of finding what you're looking for and writing to them. But when you write to them, you have to illustrate in the numbers or in the links in your email that you are not new to this. You do have a following. You do have a buzz. And you can show that through your Reverb Nation page, through your Facebook, your Twitter, that people are following you. People are interested in you. They're downloading your music. Um, Another way of clinching a deal with a booking agent is to invite them to your show. When they come down and they see the following, they see the response, they can say, all right, I could do something with this. Now, a lot of times you're going to work for free initially just so that they can use their main artist. So like, let's say, for instance, I'm a booking agent and I have Rick Ross. So I want to make Rick Ross show good, not with other people that are going to compete with him because they're well known as well. But sometimes I want to create some opening acts and give them an opportunity. I won't have to pay them or not pay them much, but I give them an opportunity to make a name for themselves. But I also uh, allow uh, my artists to be highlighted without being in competition with them. And then the last thing to know about finding a booking agent, it is sometimes a process. People think like the first time you write to somebody and they don't write back to you or don't respond to your email, they give up. But what a lot of booking agents want to see is consistency. They want to see that you have been on particular shows and you may reach out that one time. They may see your email. They may not respond or they might respond. And they may say, well, we're not looking for anybody right now. But then you show up, you know, two weeks later, a month later, three months later, And when they see you constantly on it and every time they got an email or a message from you, they see like, okay, this person is going stepping up now and they they have this larger following. And if they see that evolution, then they're more than likely to buy into you. But if you had given up er too early, then that was almost like the first test that you failed. So... Finding a booking agent is pretty easy. There are a ton of them that are out there. And by just Googling the name of their uh, organization, you can find uh, the name of these organizations and email addresses and just start reaching out to them. One other thing, in addition to directly reaching out to booking agents, you can also find promoters, people who promote uh, shows. A friend of mine recently, he opened up for Rick Ross, and what he did, he just found a promoter and told a promoter, hey, I got a buzz, people know me, um, and I would love to open up for the artist. I'll do it for free, but if you have a budget, I'll take that too. And so he got paid to open up for Rick Ross, and now all of Rick Ross fans got exposed to him. And so what he did, he invited the booking agent that he really wanted to come to that show to see him open up for Rick Ross and that's how he clinched the deal. So those are some things that you can do to find a booking agent in today's music business.